All right, next book, um, Emotional Intelligence, Self-Awareness. Emotional intelligence is a, is a critical skill you should master. People that are not as self-aware see constructive criticism as a threat. This is also a sign of insecurity. If someone is telling you about a problem, even if you don't agree with it, listen to what they're saying in a, in a constructive way. And, and you can discard it, but let them finish. Then you can talk. Self-awareness increases our confidence and creativity. It's important to be self-aware. You don't know everything. You must have internal and external self-awareness. Well, what's the difference? Internal self-awareness is what you think. External self-awareness is how other people perceive you. Don't be slow to get feedback from others. Be quick to get feedback from others. Ask, ask them, how can I do better? How can I be a more effective leader? I'll be open to change. Don't be, don't be defensive when somebody's being critical with you. Even though it's not true, you can always listen to what they're saying and you can discard it. But you don't have to tell them that. Patience. If you want to master yourself, you have to, you have to master patience with people. Give you power. Pleasure. If you're, if you're a person that wants to please people all the time, your emotional intelligence is on a whole other spectrum of the end of the spectrum. You, you lack leadership. You lack the ability to confront problem people. You have, you have to be able to stop problems. If it's with yourself, if, you, if it's with an organization, you have to be able to confront these things. The pleasure spectrum of this, of emotional intelligence, wants to be accepted at all costs, at the expense of maybe the organization. You gotta get away from that. Experience and power can hinder self-awareness. You can be deceived by thinking you have so much experience and because you're the owner of a business, you're in a position of power, you can fall into a deception of knowing, of knowing everything and that's pride. Exercises that increase self-awareness. Number one, reflect when you were at your best. When was the last time you were at your best? This is an exercise you can use to increase self-awareness. Number two, consider what you enjoyed most about, consider what you enjoyed most about tough assignments. Recognize your emotions and your thoughts. Let your thoughts pass, don't always dwell on them. This is how you can increase self-awareness. Acceptance. Acceptance doesn't mean resigning yourself to negativity. That means you accept the way the person is, but you, you're not trying to change them. You're leaving the way that leaving them the way they are. Doesn't need doesn't mean they need to be in your in your in your inner circle, but you you can accept them and meet them where they are. Doesn't need doesn't mean you need to tolerate their behavior either. That means you meet them where they are in a non-judgmental format. Okay, physical condition. It's important to be in top physical condition in order to be in order to have emotional intelligence. That again is, is mastering the, the, the habit and the behavior of discipline. Ask others about your strengths and weaknesses and be willing to change. Always be open to criticism, constructive criticism, if it's done in a respectful way. Criticism will coach you to become better. People are giving you feedback. Take those lessons and apply that. We are emotional beings. We must learn to control our, our feelings. Work towards mastering them. Don't always be emotional. Not everything has to be emotional. You can master your feelings. Not everybody has to agree with you. I like it when people disagree with me. I like to have emotional discourse. Understand that about yourself and increase that. Self-awareness, behavior, behaviors, and patterns on what you could do to improve. It's internal, not external. 